Spencer Lewis here for Inside Track TV. We're at Flamborough Speedway, hanging out in the pit area of the number 86 Mini Sock. It's Billy Schwarzenberg, and uh, Billy, you've been having a good season here at Flamborough. I know you guys have had some solid runs. You've got to be real happy with where your program's at right now. Yeah, we're definitely doing really well this year, you know. Uh, we're a points leader year and having some good runs at Sunset. We got a third place there last weekend, and it's been an awesome year. A couple of weeks still to go here in the, in the points racing here at Flamborough racing for that championship. Is it starting to maybe play on your mind a little bit? Is the pr pressure starting to get to you with only a couple of nights left in the season? Uh, it was getting to me last weekend and we had a really good weekend and unfortunately uh, Dave had some troubles so we got a bit of a lead now. I can breathe a little bit. Now this season uh, yourself and the whole uh, Spira fire protection mini stock team have kind of gone out on the road a little bit more, expanded your touring uh, operation. Do you feel that's improved the overall strength of your program here in weekly competition, having all that experience going out to all these different tracks? Uh, yeah, I think it's given me a bit of an advantage just driving other places, kind of splits it up and you learn new things everywhere you go. Now you're a bit of a mini stock veteran here and seeing where you were when you first started to the type of abilities you possess now, it's, it's wild, it's very impressive. How do you view the mini stock division as, uh, as a basis for developing young talent? I mean, it, it's, it's tough to compare it to anything else right now. Yeah, it's definitely a tough class to compete in. Like, it's kind of all over the charts. you got all different cars, and everyone's doing different things, and we don't have really any equalizers. So I feel like it's a great class to learn, and it's also a tough class to win in. So you get the best of both. Now, it's never too early to start talking about the future. Uh, 2013 and beyond is it going to be... Back to the mini stock division, are there talks in place to maybe move you up a class? What's what's in the future for Billy Schwarzenberg? I'm really not sure. I'm just holding on for the ride for now and hopefully something good comes out of it. Now I know you got a couple uh, a couple of weeks to go here at Flamborough, but then we got the playoff season ramping up, big races across the province. What's the schedule looking like for this number 86 car? I'm thinking we're going to hit up Velocity at Sunset and uh, definitely Oktoberfest and I'm going to try to convince Ken to hit up uh, Autumn Colors. That's excellent, man. Now, I know that uh, there's so much talent in this mini stock division. If you could pick one driver that you enjoy competing against on a weekly basis, just one, who would it be? It's definitely Dave Bailey. You know, we just we have fun out here, and he's a great guy to race against. So racing clean, and we always race hard. Now, as much success as you've had here and beyond, I mean, picking up checkered flags across the province as well as this Mustang's been running, I know it's not possible without a lot of support. Thank some people for me. Uh, definitely got to thank Ken. Spyro Fire Protection for giving me this opportunity and we got Chetty's Hot Sauce and uh, Quats, um, Plastico, Wolseley, um, Nuco, like we just we have so many sponsors on these cars. There you have folks, car number 86 is looking for that first career championship in the mini stock division. It is Billy Schwarzenberg of Flamborough Speedway. Thanks so much man.